Hi and welcome back to another episode of Blue Eyed Brothers. Today I'm going to show you how to keep your baits safe from crayfish and other nuisance species. This video will also include a very interesting PVA demonstration which we like to use on very deep natural venues. What do you say Robert? Enjoy the video. Let's go. The four bits of tackle you are going to need is additives, armour mesh, solid PVA bag and some sharp scissors. First of all, grab your armour mesh and pop off the lid. Now remove the main tubing which has the mesh on it. Take out the plunger and make sure that the funnel is clear. Take off around 30 millimetres of the mesh. Now get your boilie and pop it down the funnel. Next get your plunger and push it down into the excess mesh. Now remove the plunger. Squeeze the mesh tight to form a nice and strong coating over your boiler. Next tie a regular overhand knot which will make sure that your bait is secured in the mesh. Try to make this nice and tight to the boiler for better presentation. Now get your sharp scissors and chop off the end of the mesh. Try and leave as little tag end as you possibly can. Also tag off any excess that is around your boiler that isn't needed to be there. Now you should have a nice neat boiler. Now get your Nash liquid, which we have chosen the Strawberry Crush Pume Juice, which kind of smoked in the water, which is really attractive. Now you're going to want to drizzle it into a glug pot. Next, get your boilie and drop it in there. We did a few more just to show you how many you can do in a small bit of glug. Now get your PVA bag and fill it with your crushed up boilies and pellets. This is a stick mix we prefer to use as it is quite large in particles um, but yet effective and high attract. We use a solid PVA bag as the break time, breakdown time is much slower which suits the venue that we fish which is very deep as we have found that the mesh starts to melt halfway through the descent which is really bad for putting bait up in the water which could attract the carp to the wrong area of the water column that you are trying to target them in. Simply tie a regular overhand knot to secure the bait into the PVA bag. This is a very simple knot, you can learn it on most websites, it's very simple and it doesn't take much thinking. Now trim the tag end with your sharp scissors and voila you have a beautiful PVA bag which is neat and is ready to present you a perfect package of bait around your hook bait. Now hook on to your hook the PVA bag, make sure to hook this two or three times to secure the PVA bag from falling off through casting. Now you should have a lovely neat pile of bait around your hook. This is the rig. If you are interested in finding out how to tie the rig, check up in the right hand corner of the screen right now. As you will see, because we are using a shallow presenting bowl, the thing actually floats a little bit. But after about 30 seconds, you will see the results of the Nash liquid evaporating into the water and the PVA bag melting. Look at this presentation, you can picture this on the bottom. We hope that you can learn from this video and catch some of these stunning cats that me and Robert have had on this very tactic. Tight lines and wet nets.